If you want to. serious like I never thought I would be able to poop so we'll see if it lasts lasts but um I found these hats that I got from the shade tarts at CVS I really miss them I really enjoyed getting to know them and they really tried to like help me and ow like they gave me a little shout out and just made me so happy. Thank you. I know, I don't, I didn't even know what was gonna happen. It was like, I just had to go pee. For those of you that are new, hi, welcome. I have gastroparesis that was caused by my eating disorder, which is basically where you don't digest on your own very easily. Some people get it, um, like I had, where you have to have assistance. Like I have to do it with enemas. Some people get it so severe that they can't poop out of their butthole anymore. They have to get an ostomy bag, and I'm sure you know what that is. So there's all kinds of different <coughs> levels of it, and mine is not as scary as it could be, but I cannot poop. I it, I don't even know the last time that I poked, pooped without an enema, but all of a sudden I sat down on the toilet, and all of a sudden poop came out with it, and I was like, what just happened? What? So, guys... I never thought this happened. I'm hoping that it will stay. I'm hoping this is like a chapter of a new chapter, the beginning of a new chapter when it comes to my poopage situation because you guys have seen me through the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows, the pooperies. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know why you people watch me. I really don't. Like, I can't even, anyway. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm gonna stay and tell people I'm live. Guys, come watch me live on YouTube right now if you're interested. I have really exciting news, so come and watch. Okay, bye. Oh wait, I already told Instagram, Never mind. Hi guys, come watch me live right now. I'm live on YouTube, come and watch, and we want you there and to be there and all the things. Okay, goodbye. your comments hmm. interesting this just pulled right up what the heck There's a girl that I follow on Instagram and she makes beautiful temple dresses um, for our temples that you can wear. And she just posted this. I don't know if I should show it, it might be triggering, but I think what she's saying is that she had an eating disorder and I had no idea. I'm trying to read through the whole thing. There's a lot to read through because that's kind of cool. I kind of do want to share it. She does say her what her weight was, but I could skip that. The picture could be triggering, I'm not sure. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, thank you. Um, you're on month two, that's awesome! I'm so proud of you. I know, it took me so long to get here too. Yeah, I love you 
too. That's awesome, Andrew. Thank you. I hope I can continue to poop without it too. Seriously. Um, hi. Assimilating. I don't know what that means. I Roborg 4.6 time BS and we get a cyborg for Star Wars of the next generation. This will probably be saved unless I say something inappropriate or cry like I did last night. <laughs> so, love that for me. Ugh. Ask me some questions, otherwise I'm going to start singing, and then you guys aren't going to like that, so. Who do I hate myself? Okay. Now I can see the comments better. Thank you. I know, right? Thank you. It's crazy. God is so real. <laughs> and I also find, I don't know, maybe I'm just being like over dramatic or over paranoid, but it's just interesting that it's taken, this is the longest I've ever gone without eating disorder behaviors. And it's not something that I was necessarily like planning in a way that I'd never had done before. I planned to get better. Every January say, I always have this, and that is to get a eating disorder. So I've had these eating disorders for 31 years almost. And so, that's an, oh, I just wonder if it's like God's way of like preparing me because really scary things are happening in the world right now. And if I was still binging and purging, then first of all, we would run out of food. We would totally run out of food. Uh, second of all, we'd run out of money, obviously. Um, I would be passing out a lot like I was and I could develop other problems like I had before. Like, I don't know. I just think it's really interesting that after 30 plus years of trying to get better, well, that's not trying to start trying until, so like 20 years or something, 21, I don't know. Anyway, a long time of me trying to get better, it's like all of a sudden it, it, it became a little bit easier for me these past couple months. I feel, it truly feels like a blessing, like from God, I'm not kidding. <sighs> My hair looks different today, really. Probably because I didn't wash it. Tomorrow is St. Patty's Day, and we'll be going to Danny's family's house. And whenever I get out of the house and put makeup on, I usually film. So that means tomorrow night I'll film a video for you guys. Uh, what clicked for you this time? I don't know. I think... I, I think it was just... I was going through so much where so many people that I love so much were really upset with me. And when people are upset with me, I get really, really, uh, like, like I want to kill myself. Like I would rather have people being disappointed in me or being upset with me. And so that on top of like other stuff that I was going through, the worst health problems that I have ever had um the worst depression i've ever had the worst anxiety money issues marriage issues um drama all, all of that combined i felt like i had absolute and my health and stuff i had i felt that i had no control over any of that and so i think i just was like well you can control whether or not you have behavior so do it you know what i mean oh and lauren yeah <laughs> Lauren was the clicker for me. <laughs> um, ooh, what are you painting is? Danny just made popcorn and I'm sitting here smelling it and now I want popcorn. But that required me getting up, going to the pantry, getting a bag of popcorn, unwrapping it. This is really hard. And then putting it in, I love there's 
my house is destroyed right now, by the way. This is a photo that I made specifically for somebody special. And so I knocked it down on my way down because I'm like, oh, I don't want to see him. But I could have just picked it up or put something else in its place. I don't know. Why do I, why do I even care? Who cares? Oh, I was busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Duh. My painting. Thank you. Yeah. Painting was a huge thing. That's not really what made it click with me, though. But that helped me to not do it because I would use my energy for painting instead of binging and purging. Marshmallow pop. I feel like I tried that a long time ago. And now I want some again. I think I've tried that before and it was delicious. I love sweet popcorn. It's so good. I love all popcorn. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a lot to go through. Sneaky sheaky. Today was my dad's birthday and you guys helped me with his passing. Tomorrow, Tom? What does that mean? Hold on. On my nanny's B-Day. I don't know what you mean right there. And that hates because she passed as well. So today's your dad's birthday. He passed away. And then also... It's your nanny's birthday who also passed away. Is that what you're saying? Either way, whatever it is, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm glad you can be here. Be here with us. Hang out with us. And, oh, sorry. I've to go through that already. And not so, especially that it has to keep on going for you. My mom is 91 and she's going on a plane in a few weeks and she has congestive heart failure. She thinks that she will not get the coronavirus and scared. Um, I feel like it's completely reasonable to be scared, but um, the odds are good for her, I think. Well, no, she's 91. I don't know. I think, yeah, what Lauren said, just make sure she's... Prepared wear gloves, mask, spring wipes, and hand sanitizer. I hope everything works out. Did you say she's traveling alone? She lives alone. She's going to a cold climate though. And I think the coronavirus drives in colder weather. Why is she going somewhere? Did I miss that part? Probably. My grandma is just going on a plane in a few weeks. Okay, where is she going and why is she going? Because like they're telling everybody to not travel, especially older people. So why is she going? I would be worried too. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and invalidate that because I would absolutely feel worried too. Um, does she have to go? Like what? Okay. <sighs> As I'm in the middle of watching your DID video, but stopped because I got the notification for your live. Oh, well, hi, welcome. You can go back later if you want. By the way, I want to clear something up. A lot of the comments were like, Shani, you need to educate yourself. Multiple personality and DID are the same thing. And I said that they weren't because I have been told that. So maybe just the wrong person told me that. It wasn't a doctor that told me. It was just someone on here that struggles with that who I promise I remember them saying it's not the same. Because like someone else was like, oh, I have that. I have a multiple personality so I know how you feel. And the person with DID was like, no, you don't. That's their difference. That's what I, yeah. But I also said, um, 
at the beginning and all throughout, I said, I am still learning about this. I'm ignorant. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I don't struggle with it. And so I kept asking you guys throughout the entire video, like, help me understand. So just know that I wasn't trying to offend anybody, but I did. I offended a couple people and that's not the intention was at all, guys. No, not at all. But other than that, it was a great conversation that's going on in the comments and all that. And people are just, just talking and it's awesome. I love it. Talk about all of it, all the things. Um, even if you're mad at me, you tell me. That's okay. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so she lives with us for... So she lived with us for a few months because she lives in Massachusetts alone and it's cold up there in the winter and then she goes home at the end of March. She has been doing this for years. Why doesn't she just stay? Has she thought about that? Have you guys like asked her to stay? You could even say like the government itself is telling us not to travel, especially old people. Like it sounds like she's kind of stubborn, but She switches every two weeks from my house to my uncle's. Oh, wow. You told her that? What did she say when you told her that? Like, what's her reasoning? She thinks she will not get it. That's what she says. Well, find stories of people who have died, especially old people, and show it to her. Seriously, not to be like, but that might be what would like knock some sense into her. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to me, but I can see how that would worry you. That would worry me too. I haven't watched it yet. I just don't really like Trisha after her trans video. I'm not really sure. I should trust her to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair. Um, yeah. Totally fair. Are you planning on going more blonde? I was more blonde. Um, when was that? A year ago. I was pretty blonde at one point. And I've been trying to decide what I want to do with my hair. Because I'm either going to maybe go more blonde or I might do purple. I might do a mix of all of those pinks maybe too, or I don't know. I just don't dare. I just don't have the guts to just finally just do it. You know, my cousin's a hairdresser. She's ready to help. See, this is how it looked right after it was dyed. It was very blonde at one point. Can you see that? Can you see that? So it was very blonde. So. I might just go back to this, like do more blonde right now. It's ombre, it's dark on top and goes down, but we'll see. I don't know. Depends on how brave I'll be, but it is, you know, something I want to do. If I could ever leave my house. taking in people over 80 in hospitals that are positive for the coronavirus. So if she gets it, she will probably die. Oh, man. Can you, like, find proof of this for her? Cousin! Carolee is here. You guys don't know her very well. You guys know Jana. This is Jana's sister, Carolee. I love you. I miss you. I want to hug you. How are you, you beautiful human creature? I love Carolee so much. We were really close growing up. We were, I need to, how far apart were we? We were pretty far apart, but I feel like you and I were a lot closer than the other Hassan and cousins were when we would all get together. I don't know. I just remember playing with you the most out of all the Hassan cousins. So, welcome. You changed your name back. Oh, I'm so strong, honey. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I know it was probably a long time ago at this point, right? Wait, how long has it been since your divorce? You're awesome. Carolee's amazing, guys. She's incredible. She has 
like eight billion children. How many kids do you have? Five, six, seven, three, two. <laughs> September. Oh, so it's still recent. How are you doing? Do you want to talk to us about it? You don't have to. Gianna and everybody here talks openly, so if you want to talk about it, we are here for you, babe. Six kids, okay. And she is like the best mom in the world, from what I can tell on the internet and things that she posts. And when I do get to see her in person once in a great while, the way she is with her kids, she's just, oh, she's incredible. I love her. She's so strong, too. She's been through a lot in her life, so... So was the divorce final in September, or is that, um, wait, who are you talking to? Wishy Jan, who are you talking to? You say, really, really mine was triggered by my sister going to college. Has yours caused mass memory loss? Has my what? Are you talking to me? I don't know. Oh, well, not today, maybe next time, okay. And yes, we played together the most because I was obsessed with you, my favorite cousin. Aw, yeah, I think you're my favorite too on that side. I really, really do. I remember, because here's, here, here's why. Um, you were at the age, like, I've always been younger or felt younger inside or wanted to be younger inside. I don't know how to say the words. And you were, you know, seven, six, seven, eight years old and still playing Barbies. And I was like 12, 13, and I still wanted to play Barbies but friends would make fun of me if I wanted to make play with Barbies at that age. So I love doing that with you. I remember us building snowmen together and just, oh, we did so much together. I adore you. You're an incredible human. Yeah, yes, you are. You still are, just don't tell Jana. Jana's there too. I, I shouldn't have said that. Don't tell anybody. No, I love all of my cousins equally. Gonna get disowned from the family again. Why do I open my mouth? I just need to keep my mouth shut. That's the thing. Oh, you were talking to someone else. Okay, I was like, wait, what are you talking about? What is a nice was it a nice dunk, Sophia? It was pretty good. It was it was better than I expected it to be. Like it's better. The first time I pooped on my own again, I I was expecting it to be like that much. Sorry, TMI. But it was like, it wasn't one piece, again, TMI, but it was probably the amount of a piece that big, I would say. So that's something. And I'm like, wait, my body can take a dump now on its own? Maybe there is something to this whole recovery sobriety from eating disorders. My body's starting to work like it should. Is that considered a normal poo? Yeah. Thank you, Caleb. That's sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The things that are starting to happen with my body. And I guess I just never gave it long enough to really experience these things. Like, I, I would always quit after couple weeks or at the most I think other than this the longest I went without behaviors was probably like mm, I don't know exactly but I would guess two three or four weeks and I've more than doubled that almost three times so it's pretty cool I really do feel proud I don't know. It feels good to come on here and be able to tell you guys that instead of me being like, well, I hear that things get better when you do this, or I hear this from recovered people, and I don't consider myself fully recovered, by the way, and I don't know why. That's something I need to talk through with a therapist. I don't know. There's just something in me that doesn't feel fully recovered, but I'm definitely not doing behaviors anymore, and that's insanely incredible. Thanks, girl. <laughs> oh, you did, Libby? That's cute. When you said it on your story, I almost cried, to be honest. 
Yeah, he's facing that sto story. I don't know what he was expecting, but he just was like, wait. Like, he couldn't, his reaction couldn't catch up with his feelings, and he just kind of froze, and he's like, wait, 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 you pooped on your own one. <laughs> so that's cool. Thanks, guys. Pray that I can keep pooping on my own, because... I'm scared this will be like a one-time thing and I'll get my hopes up and then it won't happen anymore. But hopefully it will because, I don't know, I can't imagine why it would stop because my theory, I'm sure this is not correct, but from what I feel in my body and I'm very in tune with my body, I feel like my bowels and food have finally caught up with each other. So what I mean by that is like when you eat food, let's do this before, okay? When I would eat food before, I would either throw it up so it wouldn't stay down, or I would keep down just a little bit, and then it would go through my my uh, digestive system. When I started eating more food and keeping down more food, that made more room to push it through instead of like having these like light like like bald spots. I guess is what I'm picturing in my colon of like well there's not enough food in there to push the poop out. There's not enough food to poop. So you need to eat more food to push that poop out. And I feel like mine has like splotches in it that weren't connecting. And now that I'm eating consistently, at least three times a day, start, things are starting to work again. This makes absolutely no sense at all, but to me it does. So I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Ugh. Um. I don't Facebook. Are there any other platforms with support groups you can recommend? Uh, besides Facebook? Uh, the only ones that I know of is our community here. So you can like leave comments to people in the in the comments here. But I don't know. Our Facebook group is pretty cool. I wasn't um, really... I haven't been active in it lately, but I know it's been helping a lot of people. But if you don't have Facebook... I don't know. Keep watching my lives and make friends on here. That's the best thing you can do if you're looking for someone who understands. Um, so if you think you can find that in this community, that you can find someone that understands what you're going through, then you should totally speak up as much as you can and ask people in the comments and just be like, hey, we can chat. And has anyone been through this? And if so, will you please message me? Here's my info. Stuff like that. And yeah, oh yeah, EDA too. I thought she just meant online though. But yeah, EDA. Look up EDA in your group, Eating Disorders Anonymous. Um, you can even go to a different 12-step group if you want. You can. And just replace, like if you go to Alcoholics Anonymous, every time it says alcohol in the little book, replace it with Ed. Because that's literally what you do at EDA. It's the same book. It's the same 12 steps. It's the same discussion. You just, you just replace one addiction with another. Yeah, that's, that's a valid fear, Maria, or Mariah, but she said, I'm really scared I might start binging again while my school is closed for the virus. That's a very valid fear to have, but look at this as an opportunity and do what I did and keep in your mind, like, past week, not binging and purging has been so easy, and I think it's because I'm starting to be like, well... We have an issue now if we run out of food we're screwed so i don't have extra food to binge on and use that as your motivation seriously because like i don't know a, trick your mind into it or actually just start to believe it for yourself like yeah if we run out of food your mom might go to the store and be able to find you something but what if she picks up the coronavirus and comes back and gives it to you and then you get sick you know so like i don't know just focus on being with your loved ones right now focus on connecting with whoever you can whether it's online or in person but stay safe and think about that it kind of it's like a reason to not think about your ed because this is so scary right now and so confusing of a time and a scary time so as much as it sucks like focus on the here and now and what's going on right now and don't let yourself fall back into that and I believe you can do that, by the way. And you'll be so proud of yourself, trust me. I never thought I'd be proud of myself, but I'm proud of myself. And it just starts with 
one little tiny motivation and then you build it from there. So for me, it started with um, my husband, my family, which is includes everyone, my mom, my parents, my dad, my nieces and nephews, and then you guys, those were my starting. Danny was my first one though. Like there was a time where, no offense, you guys weren't on the list yet, but at first, at the very, very first, it was Danny was the most. And then, well, Danny and my mom, my mom is my best friend. So they've always kind of been, you know, and then everybody else in my family and then you guys. I've been restricting because of the virus. That's a very valid concern too. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful because I can also say that it has come into my head and been like, hey, you should just starve yourself and nobody would realize that you are because everyone is low on food. So no one would know. Like, no, because honestly, what's that gonna do? I'm worried that if something happens to you if you starve yourself, if you're restricting during this and you get sick to the point that you're quarantined, then you can't go get the help you need for, for this. You wouldn't be able to go get the help for it. And when you're anorexic or bulimic or any eating disorder, your immune system is lower and so you have a greater chance of catching this thing. And once you catch it, you probably have, I'm not, I don't know this for sure, but I, this is just how I feel. Um, you gotta be careful because I feel like I feel like, you know, it's mostly the elderly people that are dying or people with bad immune systems. And I have a feeling that people with eating disorders are in that category because we are malnourished. We're, we're malnourished. Um, and I'm just worried that something would happen to you. And if something happens to you, you can't get the help because of... You know what I mean? So like if you, you starve yourself or whatever and then you pass out and you get really sick, you can't go to the doctor because the doctors are flooded full of patients and it's gonna be it, those with the coronavirus comes first and the, everyone else gets sent home. You know what I mean? Aw, oh, thank you for the 279 for my poop. That's amazing. Thank you, Exotic Sun 0917. Aw, thank you. That's awesome. You guys are so cool. I'm so lucky. I, how do I get friends like you guys that just support me and never give up on me when I'm a freaking mess and a half? <sighs> anyway, just focus on other things, okay? Don't focus on Ed. Focus on do something for someone. Make a craft. Call people. You, you're probably in your, your house most of the day, so call people, call your grandma, see how she's doing. You know, grandma's chat for hours and hours and use it as a distraction for you. Um, and then when your family's eating, eat with them and eat when you're hungry. Even if your family's not there, eat when you're hungry, just do it. You don't want to die in your house alone. If you're alone, you don't want to die alone. And if you're with people, then eat with people. That's, that's what we all need to be doing right now is coming together in general. So I just know that that's going to help a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Um, um, excuse me, I can get a king size candy bar. Get it right. I'm very proud, so thank you. Oh man. Um, sorry, I can't remember who actually said that comment, so I need to go back. Hold on. Oh, Jessica, I'm restricting. We aren't low on food, but since I can't really go anywhere besides work, my head is telling me it's easier to hide it. That I that makes sense, I know, but I saw my therapist today and she was concerned because I had, I said I had been restricting during all this. Okay, homeschool three kids is a big distraction but not in a good way. You have three kids. Well, eat, I don't know, maybe make a deal with yourself. Hey girl, maybe make a deal with yourself and be like, every time I feed my kids, I'm gonna feed myself too. And take care of yourself the same way that you would take care of them. Seriously, seriously. Like put that in your mind instead of, 
oh, I'm going to not give in to Ed or, or I'm going to not starve. I'm going to like get those buzzwords out of your head and be like, no, I'm just going to, when my kids eat, I'll eat with them. Because you have to feed your kids. That's priority, right? So use that as like a timeline where you can, oh, I take care of my sister's three kids. Okay. But you still take care of three kids. So eat when they eat and eat as much as you can. Ration out your food and eat what you can. Don't just stop eating. It's not going to help anything. It's going to make it even, even worse. You don't, it's the last thing any of us need right now is another problem on our hands. And your kids are going to do what you do. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. These kids are going to watch you and they're going to be like, well, we know we're low on food because the whole world knows that. And how come my aunt isn't eating? Well, if she doesn't want to eat, then maybe I don't want to eat because I want to save food for other people or, or I want to be just like my aunt and she's not eating or something. How come some people leaving comments are highlighted in blue and have a picture of a wrench next to their name? Well, I'm going to make it happen for you right now. There you go. That means you're a moderator, which gives you power to put people in timeout on these live streams because people come in. We get a lot of trolls come in and say nasty things. And so my moderators watch out for those and... If you're a moderator, you have the option to do something to their comment, whether you can like put them in timeout for 300 seconds or something, or you can hide their comment um, or something. So I have a handful of moderators that not only help me on my lives, but also um, on my videos, they have the power to delete comments, which is huge for me. So my moderators in particular know what would trigger me and what would hurt me or hurt somebody in the community greatly if they were to read it. And so I trust them with all of my heart, those people that I've let be moderators. Um, is what true, Sophia? Um, I know they're great, huh, Carly? You're so awesome. I know, you're a moderator, look at you, what, what? So if you ever see a comment that you think is, like, don't ever, I always tell them, don't delete constructive criticism, but like if someone's, like people come on all the time and demand that I take my teeth out or they'll leave comments that are just perverted and disgusting. Um, so like stuff like that, if you ever see something like that, you are welcome to delete it. But mostly I did it because I used to be so sensitive to comments and I still am here and there, but not a lot. But I used to, it used to be so bad that I would cry and break down and just take a break for a week so many times because one comment would hurt me. Um, so that's kind of the purpose of how this all started, but yeah. yeah so. And you know me, Carly, so you would know. <laughs> Blue wrenches, yay! In with the good, out with the. Are we back? Oh no, I just froze. Sorry, Lauren. Are you talking about your sister that she saw you with the restricting and then she did it? That's how it was for me a little bit, kind of, sort of in a way. My sister and she's talked to you guys about this, so I know I can talk about it. Michelle was anorexic and really skinny and I just remember she would hoard food. Um, her purpose of hoarding it was, I, I don't know why, maybe like she knew she had it, but she didn't have to eat it, you know, like having that control and that power. For me, I hoarded food so that I could binge on it. Um, but I didn't know she was doing that till later. I thought she was hiding it for the same reason I was. And so I would do that. And then she was always really skinny and I wasn't. And so I just remember thinking, I've got to get to where she is or else I'm going to have no worth and no one's going to care about me type thing. So it's really scary. Yeah, be careful if you've got younger siblings or younger people that look up to you. I'm so careful around my nieces and nephews to not speak about my body in a negative way or to bring up um, anything that has to do with looks or weight or body image or anything. I really try and focus on just loving them and 
and having fun with them and not worrying about that kind of thing because my mom, bless her heart, um, focused on that a lot. And so I picked that up. I picked up that she, I'm just like her, like if you give her a compliment, if you say, mom, you look so beautiful, she'd be like, no, I don't. And I do that. Um, but the older I've gotten and the more that I've talked to her, she doesn't really do that anymore, but she did for a while. But I'm saying it can be changed. She changed it. So, so, and so that's what I've been trying to do too. My principal called me into his office a few months back to ask if I had bulimia. And I was so ter terrified. I said no, obviously, but I had no clue what they would, why they would be asking that. Oh, I wish you, oh crap, my phone just died. Why is this all, why do I always forget to charge my phone? I have to go get my charger, hold on. My knee is locked, oh great, okay. We're gonna just, you might hear my knee pop out, so, or pop back in, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, sorry. <laughs> So you think you can stop me and spit in my eye? Where's my phone? Oh, it's right so you think you can love me and leave me to die? Oh, baby, can't do this to me, baby. Just gotta get out. Gotta get right out of What's happening? What, what's happening with Sarah? What's wrong? What's up, girl? I got a super chat. What's that? The money? Another one? Aw, oh, thank you. Miss LaShawn Decade. Oh my gosh, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's so, so sweet. That is going right to my paint supplies. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Um, did I miss something? What did I miss, Sarah? What's going on? Um, yeah.
No, Dee Dee can say it. Dee Dee knows me very well. <sighs> a lot of you do. A lot of you would say that. Mm. So you think you can stop me? You do all have good advice to give. All of you guys do, seriously. Did I miss what's happening with Sarah? What's, what did I miss? Someone fill me in. I just meant why is she speaking? Probably because I didn't, I don't know what's going on. That's probably why, but I don't know. I just got here, so. I mean, I just got back. You, Rachel, are you the one? Some Rachel was saying they needed me. What did you need me for? I don't know what's happening. Okay, now I can see <laughs> the comments. That's very helpful. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Why are you speaking for me, Dee Dee? Rude. I see what you're saying, Holly. Um, I think where this is coming from for Dee Dee or anybody else who was like a very, very super active member of the Insta fam, we would get, I would go out every night and we would get, um, we would get, someone would come on and be like, I need you, Shani, help me. And so I would try and help them. I can't help anybody really, but I would at least like listen and try and encourage them and stuff. And while I was doing that with one person, 10 other people at the exact same time would see that and jump on and try and take advantage and be like, wait, I need your help. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I'm going through this. I'm going, Shani, fix me. No. Nope. And then other people in the comments would be like, well, I can talk to you. And then they would be like, no, I need Shani. I need Shani. Shani's the only one that can help me. So I think that's where Dee Dee was coming from. That's all. Like, I don't think it meant to be anything negative. I think she's being protective because she's seen me break down so many times and so have a lot of you, all of you guys have, so. Um, which Sarah is it? Are there two Sarahs? I'm so confused. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I need Shani too. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you're the cutest. Um, is it you, Sarah McPherson, that we're all talking about? Tomorrow morning, I figure out if my new insurance is accepted by the treatment place. Oh, I'm thinking of going to, but my dad doesn't want me to go into treatment until his coronavirus dies down. Oh, that's a tough one. Whoa, that's a really tough one. What is your doctor, what are the doctors saying? Oh, is it that Rachel? Which Rachel said they needed me? I'll just talk to both Rachels real quick. My anorexia in the past was all about control more than anything. I, uh, it felt like the only thing I could control in my life. Yeah, oh, that's so, that's like, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, but guys, that's, come on. I feel like it, it, that's at the core of all of our eating disorders is control in some way. So don't beat yourself up. Okay, so Sarah McPherson is the one going to treatment. And then the other Sarah is struggling with, um, yeah. I don't know, that's rough because, because if your dad has a coronavirus, then obviously you've been around that and you could possibly have it. Even if you're not getting symptoms, you, you might be carrying it and therefore get other girls at the, at the hospital sick. Like I, I see where you're, um, I totally see where you're conflicted and, and why maybe your dad would, I thought you said that he did have it. Wait, maybe I read it wrong, hold on. Tomorrow morning, I figure out if my new insurance is accepted by the treatment place I'm thinking about going to, but my dad doesn't want me to go into treatment until Oh, until this coronavirus. Okay, I thought that. I, I read that as his coronavirus. Okay. 
tell this coronavirus? Hmm. Hmm. Well, what do, what are your doctors saying? I want to know. Have you talked to a doctor about this? Have you talked to like, um, yes, Karina. Have you talked to uh, your therapist, your doctor, your family? What's what what does everyone else think besides your dad? That's a tough one. It's so tough right now. This whole thing, this whole Corona thing, is getting in the way of so so much, and it's really kind of destroying people's lives even if they don't have it it's destroying it in some way because so many people can't go to work and so they're losing money and so many people are getting sick so they're sick and so many people can't do other opportunities that they need or want to do um like mine is like stupid but i feel really bummed that i can't do my public speaking and that we have to put that off for a while like that's stupid so I can't imagine people, and like I feel really lucky that my job, if you want to call it, is at home. I don't make money, but you know what I mean, my purpose is at home. And I'm lucky that Danny has his job still right now, but there are people out there who cannot go to work because their jobs have shut down. All of their places of employment have sh shut down. And so um, I can't imagine how scary that must feel. And Danny came home today and said that they are thinking about stopping production and if they do we are absolutely screwed we're already behind on money we're struggling and if that if 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 the job keeps going we'll be fine but if they don't then we'll, i don't know so it's just like a scary time in so many different ways for so many different people and i don't know it's just crazy what's happening What was selfish? What did I miss one? Did you hear about the guy who bought 17,000 hand sanitizer and sold them for 10 times the original price? What a dick. I, I heard about the toilet paper one. Someone was telling me that someone went to the dollar store and bought out all the toilet paper, like the little cheapest, like the cheapest four pack of toilet paper you can get from the dollar store and sold those for like 40 bucks a pack. That's gross. Seriously, it's gross. Thank you. <sighs> um, I don't know, but Rachel, I just would suggest talking to your doctors about this and let them make the decision and hopefully your dad will respect that because it's got to be, I mean, it's like, could you hold out till this passes? Maybe. Yeah, probably. But what if you can't? And who would want to risk you getting any worse and maybe you could take this as an opportunity to try and work more on yourself who knows i don't know i know it's crazy right it's so crazy what about living in colorado or texas any thoughts are you talking to me what about it i don't know i don't know what you mean that's great karina awesome proud of you girl oh she's talking to Sarah okay thanks thanks girl see Curly's just like watching out for me thanks girl um, you're welcome for the wrench <laughs> I should just give all of you wrenches because I love all of you that much I love all of you so much You live near me? Where do you live? Do I know this? Do I know you? I don't think I know your name, so... I need to eat something. Where in Utah do you live? Oh, you don't? Wait, what? I'm so confused! I think waiting is good because we found out the insurance accepts it as at it at least it accepts it at, at least we'll know I can I can go once it dies down and I just recently changed insurance so I have to find a new doctor okay 
Well, then make it your goal. Just stay strong enough and try to do it on your own, girl. Do it. You can. It's possible. You can. Just make the decision to try. Oh, she asked where I live. Oh, okay. No, you said live near Shan. I don't know. Anyway, what time is it? It is 11.58 p.m. Are you in Utah, by the way, Carly? Where are you living? Are you still in Colorado or Arizona? Is it Arizona? I think it's Arizona. Are you still there? How do I tell people about my eating disorder? Because I'm only 15 and I'm scared of being punished. I really am trying to stop. I have not finished in two weeks. That's wonderful. Good job, Mariah. You know what? So many people are so sick of hearing this, but it's it's helped so many people. Um, I made a video years ago. I made two videos. And yeah, it is. I'm just wondering where you live now. I was asking where you live. Yeah, it's 1058, but I'm asking where you live right now. Um, I made a video a long time ago. One was called how to tell your parents you have an eating disorder. The other one was called Dear Parents, I Have an Eating Disorder. And you can use that with anybody, not just parents. You can use it for friends or any other family members. And the first one, how to tell them, is me like giving you my tips on how to tell them. And the second one is literally me telling them for you. So all you have to do is like set up some time with them that they'll sit down with you with no other distractions, watch my video, I tell them that you're struggling with this, and then that opens up conversation. You can turn up the video and talk to each other. So go look those up and just go look on, to say how to tell your parents I have an eating disorder or something like that on my channel, and you'll find both videos. And hopefully the one where I just give you my tips on how to tell will help you because that's obviously the better way to do it to be honest but if you're that scared and you're that um worried that you won't be able to get the conversation going then please use the other video um because it's helped so many people you have no idea how many people it's helped and that's awesome and i'm trying to i need to make an updated one because that was literally like five years ago i think four or five years ago um so i need to make an updated one so i think i'll do that i should write that and my notes for video ideas. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty soon, but I'll take like one or two more questions maybe. So, isn't it crazy, Curly? I know. You, you were there at my first video and you were showing me support like from the very beginning. So, isn't it wild? It's just... Wow, it's crazy of this world. So weird. When's my birth? You don't know when my birthday is? <laughs> it's okay, I forgive you. October 19th. And then Carolee's birthday is exactly a week later, except she's like five years younger. How old are you? I feel like we're, we've got a good gap between us, but somehow we're the same age. I don't know how that works but <laughs> how far apart are we when were you born eighty nine were you born in eighty nine or eighty eight thirty two so eighty eight or eighty seven I can't do math I think eighty eight excuse me I didn't forget, I just didn't remember. Moving on. That's a good question. Co 
Hopefully he just posted it on TikTok and I got a notification. Um, uh, Arthur Cute, you've been with me for so long. I already commented this, but I want to say that I'm so proud of you, of how you have blossomed since I first started watching you after Emily Vegan, Emily Vegan Flower first shouted you out. Love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. You've been such a great support. Um, okay, where did that question go? Because that was a good question. There it is. Sarah said, do you think eating disorder thoughts and urges will ever go away fully? I do not think so. I'm sorry, but I do believe that we can control it and we can go without the behaviors, but I don't think that those um, temptations will ever fully go away. I really don't. I think it's just something that we've developed and we need to learn to live with it and not give into it, but still live with it and just put it in a box in your brain and put it in the back of your brain and just let it be there. And once in a while, that box is going to come to the front and open, but you have the power to shut it back down and put it back. So, so do it, you know, and it is possible. I'm living proof. 75 days is unheard of for me. Like, it's a miracle. Something's going on because it's like an actual miracle. Um, so no, I don't think they will. I think we just have to find a way to, to live with them and deal with them in a healthy way. Okay, one more question then I'm gonna go. Send in all your questions and then I'll pick one. Or I can sing for you if you want. Or I could breathe for you. It's up to you. You let me know. Really, Carolee? I believe it. I haven't had beer for over nine years and I still crave it. I believe it. I've heard that with people that I know personally that struggle with addiction. They'll say that even though they've been sober for years and years, they still get the cravings and they still, you know. Bye night, Roxy, love you. Thanks girl, you look like you belong in a 90s hip hop video, I agree. But do they get any better like not as strong? Yes, they do get better. They absolutely do get better. But 100% those thoughts will go away? No. So plan on that. But depending on how well you can do, I believe you I believe all of us can get up to 99%. I do. I really do. What's up, Troni? You going to be nice today? Who knows? You go back and forth. My dear, I, I love you still. Um, and don't ask me why I said that because now I can't remember the exact comment, but you definitely, definitely said some things where I was like, oh, that's not kind of you, but maybe you were having a bad day. Who knows? Thank you. You're beautiful too. Mm. That's wonderful, Joey. I commented this on your last live, but I'm also a month free of self-harm. Also, I love you. I love you too. That's incredible. That is, that's huge. Self-harm is really hard to stop. That's amazing. You keep going, okay? I believe in you. Do not give that up. Well, someone was being mean to me in the comments and you were like agreeing with them. So that's what I'm talking about. About I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but I remember thinking, oh, that kind of hurts, you know? But maybe you're having a bad day, who knows? 
Um, okay, send me a question and then I'm gonna go. One more question. In fact, everyone send in a question. I expect 27 questions. That's not gonna happen. And then I'll pick one after they're all sent in. There's a question, just ask me a question before I go. Unless you want me to sing. Which nobody does. <laughs> so yes, ask me one more question. Let me sing Baby Don't You Cry. What is that from? I don't know. I don't even think I can sing right now, to be honest. But we'll see. My throat's been hurting real bad. Maybe we'll sing another time. Um, that's sweet. I think everyone should do what Lauren just said. Finish these stage sentences. Today I feel dot 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 and today I'm thankful for dot dot dot. Today I feel physically sick, but I'm thankful that I'm mentally well. And I'm thankful that I have the best husband and family and friends in the world. And I'm thankful for God. Is your hair naturally wavy? It underneath it is. Underneath it looks just like this. So then I so like that is natural. And so I wave the top to match it. I know I'm answering like tons of questions. I'm just looking for a question that is like a long-winded answer questions. So Maybe no one has any. I've answered everything at this point, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> what are you eating for meals now? I eat whatever I feel like eating. There's been, there's still a few foods where I, I guess, maybe feel a little bit unsafe but not in an eating disorder way, in a stomach problem way. Like if I eat too much dairy, I get really sick, I'm lactose intolerant. Um, and so, I don't know, I typically just every day just eat whatever I want to and whatever Danny eats, I'll eat. And whatever I eat, he eats. And it used to not be that way. It used to be, we would just, you know, get fast food and I would eat like 10 burgers and he would get his stuff. but since I haven't been purging, I've been actually preparing meals as well and also taking the time to eat with Danny. So whatever we eat that night, we eat. I don't know. There's nothing that I can pinpoint that's like, I don't know what you mean by that. Just everything. I eat a little bit of everything. Whatever I feel like, I eat it. And I just listen to my body. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for hanging out. And I love you guys so much. And, oh, my cousin had a question. Hold on. She, she gets it answered. Sorry, guys. It's um, one of those things where it's okay. Oh, I don't see a question. Did you, answer, did you ask a question? I didn't see a question. There's no question. I don't know what you're talking about. Yours, Samson. Hold on. I don't see anything from you either. Is YouTube like hiding comments again? Okay, re ask me what you were going to say. Samson and Carolee, re ask me. Was it like an inappropriate thing that, because YouTube is so stupid and they, they just, ugh. They just decide to block comments based on what they, I don't know, I feel like that should be up to us as creators to decide what comments go through. I'm waiting for those questions that I'm going to go. I didn't get it. Did you send it again? 
Didn't get it. Nope, didn't get yours either, Carly. What the heck? Try again, maybe try wording it differently. I am tired. So no one else can see it either, huh? Huh. Okay, try it again, word it differently. Let's see what happens. Twice, what the heck? That's annoying. Pick one, I see this. Pick one, giant hamster or tiny elephant? Oh, a tiny elephant for sure, are you kidding? Yeah. I know, YouTube does it all the time. It's so freaking annoying. It is so annoying. Like when I'm on a live stream, they'll just go through and not let comments to go through if they think it's inappropriate, which, oh, which would I rather be? Ooh. I still would pick the elephant. I would rather be a tiny elephant than a ginormous hamster. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe a hamster. I just don't want to be ginormous. I already feel ginormous and that's okay. It's beautiful, but I don't know. I think elephants are actually, this is a really hard question. I might have to sleep on this one. I'm sorry. It's too much pressure. You'll DM it? Okay. And I guess if I had to pick, I would say, this is really hard. The little elephant. I don't know why. What, Karina? Oh, I know, right? Tro trolls get away with all that, and yet people get deleted for asking about hamsters. So that's cool. Yeah. Yes, eat when you're hungry. Your body is trying to tell you something. Listen to it. Right? Yeah, giant hamster sounds terrifying. Hey, did you message me yet? Hold on, let me go find her. I'm literally falling asleep. Um, okay, it's not on that account. <sighs> so you think you can stop me and spit in my eye? Um, Aww. Uh, really? Okay. Um, she said, hey, I was asking, do you want to come to Arizona and play Barbies with me and my girls? Yes, I do. I really, really, truly do. Maybe I'll get Ashley to set up a conference in Arizona because we've actually thought of going there for a conference. So maybe I can push that a little so I can come see you guys. That would be incredible. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I am. I'm not even gonna paint, I'm just gonna go to bed. But thank you for hanging out, I love you guys so much. I'm sorry, Karina, hang in there, girl. Um, love you, I love you all. And remember for everyone, forever, wow. Remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too, and please stay safe. And I love you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.